I bought this ANET A8 3D printer a few weeks ago off of GearBest. Um, it's a really nice 3D printer. The first thing that I printed off was this um, extruder blower. It's a blower that goes around the nozzle. Basically, the old nozzle ex blower wasn't that good, and I wanted one that would circle all the way around it, where it's got air coming in from all the entire sides. Uh, the 3D prints that I've made so far have all been really nice. Basically, um, I've not had too many bad prints. I've had one that was because it wasn't level. So it's very important that you level up all the surfaces before you do start the 3D prints. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. You just need to make sure you uh, go around and um, level it. Uh, the other concern that I had was with the, the ZX Z axis thread. Basically, if you can look at the top of it, there's a space in here between this and the little hole. I don't know if you can see the hole up there or not, but basically there's a hole there and it doesn't go all the way to the top of it to stick in there. So this does have a, a tendency to wobble a little bit. The thing is, is that all of them do this, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Overall, um, I would recommend this to anyone that wants to build a 3D printer. It took me around eight hours of uh, looking things up on YouTube and putting it together. Uh, the next thing that I would advise everyone to do is get a belt tensioner for the rear. Uh, this is one of my old prints that was up where it was unlevel, but I'm going to put that on there next. Or I'm going to do another print and, and print another one out, but uh, that will keep the uh, belt right here tight and um, the way they've got it set up it's a easy to set up but I just want something that's a little more permanent overall you know I would recommend this to anybody that's looking for a 3d printer um, I've had a lot of use out of it so far and I would recommend it to anyone uh, if you're not very skilled at building stuff you may want to get someone to help you um, again it does take around eight hours to build though uh, the only other thing I can say is good luck and print everything that you can